maybe you're thinking about quitting alcohol or maybe you're already on that path. Wherever you are, I want you to know sobriety isn't just about saying no to a drink. It's about saying yes to a better version of yourself. I'm here to share 40 life-changing lessons I've learned along the way. Quitting alcohol is just the first step. These 40 lessons are here to guide you, not just in staying sober, but in building a life that you are proud of. Keep pushing, stay committed, and most importantly, never stop growing. Number one, confidence comes from keeping promises to yourself. Confidence doesn't just appear out of nowhere. Every time you say no to alcohol, you're building that trust with yourself. It's those little commitments made and kept that grow into solid confidence. Number two, you take responsibility for your life. No one else is responsible. If you're waiting for someone else to save you or blaming others for where you are, stop. The moment you take full responsibility for your actions and choices, you unlock power to change. No more blaming. Your future is in your hands. Number three, if your life feels boring, it's time to add excitement. If you find yourself addicted to your phone, TV, mindless scrolling, it's a sign your life isn't exciting enough. So quitting alcohol gives you the energy and time to explore new hobbies, take on new challenges, and live life fully. Do not waste it. Number four, let go of the vices holding you back. Alcohol might be the first thing you cut out, but it shouldn't be the last. Whether it's toxic friendships, bad eating habits, or even endless social media scrolling, those vices keep you from becoming your best self. Let go and make room for growth. Number five, assume the best in others, as hard as it might be. When you quit alcohol, your perspective sharpens. Instead of getting angry or feeling slighted, assume the best in people. Maybe that person who, <laughs> who cut you off is rushing to help someone in need. By giving others the benefit of the doubt, you keep your energy positive. Number six, big challenges lead to big growth. In sobriety, you learn to face challenges head on instead of running from them. The bigger the problem, the greater the opportunity for growth. Don't shy away from the tough moments. They're shaping you into the strongest version of yourself. Number seven, to create your new life, you have to leave the old one behind. One of the hardest parts of quitting alcohol is leaving behind the routines, the places, or even the people that we were connected to. To fully step into your new life, you have to let go of what's holding you back. Your future is worth the sacrifice. Number eight, success isn't about a single day. It's about long-term dedication. It's easy to feel proud after a few days or weeks without alcohol, but lasting change takes time. Sobriety isn't a short-term victory. It's a lifelong commitment. Dedicate yourself to the long haul and the rewards will be greater than you have ever imagined. Number nine, real respect comes from admiration. People will admire you for the strength it takes to quit and for how you've chosen to grow. That's the kind of respect that last. Number 10, fear is not your friend. Don't let it guide you. In your darkest moments, fear will try to convince you that you cannot make it. Fear gives terrible advice. When you feel overwhelmed, reach out to someone you trust for support. Don't let fear be the voice that you listen to. Number 11, push harder when things get easier. Once you start feeling comfortable in your sobriety, that's the time to push yourself even harder. Do not get complacent. Continue challenging yourself. You have to set new goals. There's always another level to reach. Number 12, prioritize yourself before helping others. You've probably heard the phrase, put your own oxygen mask on first. That's especially true in sobriety. You can't help others unless you take care of yourself first. You have to focus on your recovery and then you'll be in a better place to support those around you. Like me, I didn't do my first video until about 50 days into not drinking when I realized that I didn't wanna drink anymore. And from there, I have helped so many people quit drinking. It has been absolutely amazing. Number 13, stop comparing yourself. Life is a mirror, not a window. Stop looking at what everyone else is doing and start looking at yourself. The world is a reflection of your own actions energy and mindset. If you want a better life, work on becoming better yourself. You'll see that reflected in your own surroundings. Number 14, set boundaries with others. We've talked about this one a lot. You teach them how to treat 
you. When you quit drinking, people might still offer you drinks or tempt you in other ways. Set firm boundaries and show them how you expect to be treated. If you respect sobriety, so will they. Number 15, take responsibility. It's your life, own it. Blaming others for your situation is easy, but it keeps you stuck. Sobriety teaches you that your life is yours to control. Take responsibility for where you are and you'll be empowered to create the future that you want. Number 16, you'll face tests before every breakthrough. Every time you're close to achieving something big, life will test you. Maybe it's stress, temptation, or unexpected setbacks, but those challenges are there to see if you're ready to level up. When the tests come, remember, they're a sign that you are on the right track. My test before I was one year sober was a ginormous family fight. I didn't talk to some of them for a couple of months. That made me stronger in realizing that I can get through anything in life sober and I did not need to turn to alcohol. Number 17, your body is your greatest asset. You have to take care of it. Alcohol takes a toll on your body, but sobriety gives you the chance to treat it like the incredible machine that it is. You eat better, move more, and treat your body with the respect it deserves. The energy and health that you gain will change your life completely. I have lost about 15 to 20 pounds since I quit drinking, and it's easier to be more active and make sure that I get my workouts in, and it's also easier to eat better because I'm not hungover looking for all that greasy, crappy food. Number 18, don't be afraid to say no. Learning to say no is one of the most powerful skills you can develop in sobriety. You don't owe anyone an explanation for your choices. Protect your future by saying no to the things that do not serve you today. Number 19, long-term goals require patience. It's a hard one, I know, but big dreams take time. Whether it's sobriety or any other goal, don't expect overnight results. Stay patient, stay focused, and remember that real success is built over months and years, not just days or weeks, so never give up. Number 20, study life. Don't just skim through it. Don't just read books or listen to advice. Apply what you learn. Study your life, reflect on your choices, and make real changes based on what you discover. That's how you grow and evolve in your sobriety journey. I have always said, listen to positive podcasts or read a positive personal development book it really helps change your way of thinking and pushes you through your sobriety journey even more. 21, let go of your past to create your future. Yes, I am talking to you. You can't move forward if you're still holding on to the past. We're all guilty of it. We have to let go of the habit, people, or places that are tied to our drinking. Only by releasing what no longer serves you can make room for the amazing future ahead. Number 22, confidence comes when you no longer chase approval. The moment you stop seeking validation from others is the moment you gain real confidence. Focus on your own growth and the respect and admiration you deserve will naturally follow. Number 23, do not wait for the perfect moment. Start now. If you're waiting for a sign to quit alcohol or take a big step in your life, this is it. There's never going to be a perfect moment Start today, right now, and take control of your future. Too many people wait for New Year's Day, I'm gonna not drink this year, or they wait for sober October or dry January. No, or they start Monday, Monday's the day. That doesn't work, you have to start now. Number 24, the bigger the problem, the greater the reward. Sobriety doesn't mean a life free of problems at all. It means you're ready to tackle bigger challenges, the more you're willing to face, the more you will grow. And trust me, the rewards are worth it, I promise. Number 25, if you keep meeting toxic people, look inward. If you find yourself constantly surrounded by negativity or toxic people, it might be time to reflect on the energy you're putting out. Sobriety helps you see things clearly, clean up your inner world and your outer world will follow. I've always said that I was my own environment and I did not realize it until I actually quit drinking. I was putting myself in a circle of toxic, it was toxic people, alcohol was involved. And once I quit drinking, it was clear I was the problem. 
and I stepped away and now I have a world that is starting to follow me in my footsteps and quitting drinking and it's absolutely amazing. Number 26, people won't always understand your journey and that's okay. Not everyone will get why you're quitting alcohol or making big changes in your life. That's fine. They don't have to understand your path, respect it. And in time, your growth will speak for itself. How many times have you heard that when you're climbing to the top is when you start losing people, but once you get to the top, those people wanna come back to your life. That is your choice and letting them back in. They didn't understand what you were doing until you actually made it. Number 27, make time for what truly matters. If you say your family, friends, or health matter most, show it in your schedule. Sobriety gives you the chance to prioritize the things that bring real meaning to your life. Make sure your actions reflect your values. Do you find yourself just drinking your weekends away instead of being with your family and friends? I know a lot of us did and I know a lot of us still do. Sobriety will bring more pleasure to your life because you will be happier in making priority for your family and friends. Number 28. True respect is earned through actions, not demands. Respect doesn't come from forcing others to comply. It's earned through consistent actions and integrity. When you stay true to your sobriety and your values, people will naturally respect the person that you've become. Number 29, keep the drama out of your life. Sobriety is about freeing yourself from distractions and drama is one of the biggest distractions out there. Avoid gossip and negativity It's a drain on your energy and your growth. Focus on what really matters. I know that that's a super hard one because we want to talk about how people hurt our feelings and that's fine. People will hurt our feelings. We don't want to go around bashing them to everybody. You can talk to a person about, well, this person made me feel this way, but we don't need to go around dragging everybody into it. Keep it between yourself and somebody close to you if you're having problems with somebody else or just talk to them about it. Number 30, gratitude is key, but always aim higher. In sobriety, you learn to appreciate every step of your journey, but do not confuse gratitude with settling. Be thankful for how far you've come, but always strive for more. You were meant for greatness. How many of you have quit drinking and cleaned your liver up, your diabetes is gone, your cholesterol is lower, your business is 10X, you reconnected with a family member. So many things happen when you strive for more. 31, acknowledge others when they do well. Sometimes a kind word or acknowledgement can change someone's entire day. Do not hesitate to recognize when others are doing great things. Your encouragement might be the motivation they need to keep going. So many of you comment on my videos and that is what keeps me motivated because your encouragement helps me so much. 32, stay humble, but own your achievements. Quitting alcohol is a huge accomplishment, own it. You do not need to downplay your success just to make others comfortable. Be proud of what you've achieved and stay humble enough to keep growing. You do not need to lower yourself or your standards to make somebody else feel comfortable just because they don't like seeing you grow. Move on. Number 33, set the standard for how people treat you. When you quit drinking, set the tone for how others treat you. Do not let people disrespect your choices or push your boundaries. The more you respect your sobriety, the more others will too. So many people in the beginning of my sobriety journey told me I couldn't do it. Guess what? I proved them all wrong. I will keep proving them all wrong by doing this for a lifetime. 34, real leadership is earned through authenticity. People will follow and admire you, not because you demand it, but because you lead by example. I don't know how many of you say that you love my videos because you resonate with me, because I'm real, I tell you how it is, and I do not sugarcoat things, and I don't, I can't be fake, I'm not a fake person. And here I am, leading by example, and so many of you are following. Number 35. Cut drama out of your life. Higher achievers avoid drama like the plague. When you're focused on sobriety and growth, there's no time for unnecessary distractions. Keep your life free of gossip and negativity and you'll create space for real success. How many of us have distanced ourselves or noticed people fall away from us? A lot of us have. 
but that's okay because there's no time for that unnecessary distraction. We have to keep going and moving on and let the negativity leave our life. Number 36, stay dissatisfied enough to keep growing. Be grateful for everything you've achieved, but don't get too comfortable. Keep pushing for more, knowing that you are capable of even greater things. That sense of dissatisfaction is what fuels true progress. Number 37, make time for what matters most. If you say something is important to you, make time for it. Sobriety gives you back your time. Use it wisely. Prioritize your health, your relationships, and your passions. Don't let distractions steal what truly matters. And like so many times I told you guys, I am more present with my children now since I quit drinking. There's more time to be a mom and be fully involved. Like I'm coaching my daughter's volleyball team and my son's playing football. That would have never happened if I was still drinking. Number 38, your life is a reflection of who you are. If you want to change your life, you have to start with yourself. Sobriety teaches you that your external world is just a mirror of your internal one. Improve yourself and watch everything else improve along with it. My very first video, I told you I was the drinker. Everybody knew me as the drinker. And now guess what? I am the sober one. Everybody else still drinks but me. Number 39, lead by example, not fear. True leadership comes from setting an example, not forcing people to follow you. In sobriety, you become a role model for others. You show them what's possible through your actions, not your demands. Last but not least, number 40, your world reflects your inner growth. The better you become, the better your life becomes. Sobriety is a reflection of the inner work you're doing every single day. Keep growing, your world will expand in ways you never thought possible. Remember, quitting alcohol is just the first step. The real transformation happens when you embrace the journey of growth that follows. These 40 lessons are here to guide you, not just in staying sober, but in building a life that you are proud of. Keep pushing, stay committed, and most importantly, never stop growing. Please comment below where you are in your journey and please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can keep getting notifications for our new videos. Thank you for watching. Also, check out the members page, hit join and see what your options are to get more connected with me so I can help you.